All right, so we are about to go watch this live action video for Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, which as I understand is like a parody series. I'm gonna read the description here as we switch over. Uh, a scripted live action starring Tom McKay and Luke Dale, the lead actors of Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, bringing their Henry and Hans buddy chemistry from 1403 into a modern day setting. Um, forced to tour Kutenberg, Luke is pulled along by Tom through the city's stunning medieval streets as they explore Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 in games locations, encounter bizarre travelers, and fend off angry locals with crossbows. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Peggy 18. <laughs> By the way, this is a February game for us, along with Avowed. We will absolutely be playing this game in February. Ah, Kutenberg. A true medieval wonderland. A hidden treat for the lovers of Gothic architecture, narrow streets, and tiny pubs. A calmer and slicker brother of Brock, only with no tourist traps and large crowds of people salivating on their phones. But back in the late Middle Ages, Gutenberg was one of the most significant cities in the Holy Roman Empire. It was a place pulsing with business. Oh, it looks so good. Craft, wealth, and pleasure. But not everything in the city was thriving. Certain parts of Gutenberg were plagued by the demon alcohol, misery, and violence. And all of this will soon be experienced by you. Through the eyes of a young lad called Henry. In Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, you will be taken on an unforgettable journey along with your noble friend, What's up, Blockhead? Sir Hans. The two reckless young men embark on a series of perilous adventures, leading them right here to the untamed metropolis. Of and I'll probably play this one on my PS5. Okay, so I think the church should be just around this corner. Henry! I think the pub should be behind every corner here. Henry and Hans. Found another church for you. And the map says it's called the Church of St. Pint. We're open from 8. <laughs> You are unbelievable. <laughs> oh. Hey. Ba -da 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 -da. Mm, that looks tasty. I said a small one. <laughs> There's no small ones left. They're all gone. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh. Oh. All right, mate, take it easy. We're here to visit monuments, not the morgue. We've been wandering around this city. For 28 minutes, we deserve a treat. And don't tell me you've come here to visit. God, I'm thirsty now. Yes, we have. Why else would we have come here? Mm. Since when does a friend's trip to Kuttenberg mean actual sightseeing? I thought we were here for a bend. Oh, come on, Luke. We're not 19 anymore. And we can see the city from here. From the pub. Look, Tom, what we'll do is we'll charge my phone up. We'll get up some great footage of Kuttenberg on YouTube. We'll sit here, nurse a couple of cold ones, stay in the pub. Everybody wins. What do you think? You know, you know what? You're right, actually. We should have just stayed in the airport bar, smashing Pilsners and watching Kuttenberg videos on our phone. My God, you're right. God damn. Luke, you are literally <laughs> the worst tourist this city has ever seen. Do you know that? I finish your beer and let's get out of here. Can we not go to, like, some parties before we leave? Like, Mike says the priest from I'm KDC1 has to be one of my favorite NPCs in video game ever. <laughs> this quest was hilarious. They aren't. Not anymore. <laughs> not but anymore. Dancing with the demon was a very popular hobby among medieval folk. In a tavern Look called at that song. A Hole, you don't even need a living companion to drink with someone. Just approach the most loyal regular around. You go! Beer and a rag, please. Beer in a rug, please. Now, is that something you can do in today's world? Getting plastered in a bathhouse to the sunrise, just like an.
It's a madhouse, eh? All right, I'm going. Yes, exactly, dude. This is how you research for a game. <laughs> Hands on. It's just some old buildings. Here, have a proper look. I mean, I'll show in-game footage here, oh, maybe. Oh, shit. Yep. That's pretty brilliant. I wonder what was going on around here in the Middle Ages. This is oh, brilliant marketing, time. guys. This is a great a marketing strategy. Stadium, people jumping on rooftops, throwing apples down. Yeah. Gladiators. Yeah, no, maybe they, uh, maybe they did the first Olympics here, too, you know? Naked yeah, same Metroid. Around, around the square. Maybe they started the race I'm gonna not, I'm not gonna get any sleep in February because there's PhD this and about history. like seven days after this I'm not getting any sleep that month. Sorry <laughs> You guys are stuck with me. I'll be <laughs> I'll be I'll just won't sleep. We'll just be streaming I'll get like a week of streaming this and then I'll have to add about to that and we'll be doing both every single day It's gonna be nuts Selfie time. Oi, we agreed no foes it's a place I really want to see, called the Italian Court, but I've got absolutely no idea where it is. Well, don't look at me. You know you're going to get better directions from a local pigeon. <laughs> All right, what about this fellow, then? After you. So Why is he reading? Me. I didn't get a chance. Um, He's reading a comic Me and my book. friend are looking for a place called the Italian Court. Do you know where that is? So, sorry, is, is it that way? Tom, I don't I think he understands. Uh, hello. Italian court. Is it that way? Oh, man, do you understand? English, Czech, French, Egyptian. You got truly wrong. You fished it. It's kind of hard for them. Excuse me. Sorry to interrupt. Um, we're looking for the Italian court. Do you know? Yep. Ciao. Okay, thank you. Uh, I, I don't think you understand a word you said. Blew us off and sent us in the wrong direction. Let's go up here. Let's see that mighty palace. Oh, no, yeah, totally. This must be exactly where the great lords of Kuttenberg held the most important meetings. <laughs> Ho provato a chiamarlo, eh? Hai provato tu? Ma non mi risponde mai. E sei Yeah, yeah, it's a dev, yeah. Scusa, scusa. Italian court, if he can, if he can, can't tell us, no one can. Uh, I don't think he... Buongiorno, signora. Uh, do you know Italiano Corto? Uh, si ancora? Uh, vamonos. <laughs> Anzi capone? Sei tu? Non ci posso credere, sei tu, anzi Caponi, vieni qua. Vieni, 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 dai, andiamo, andiamo, ti porto io, dai, ti devo presentare tutta la mia famiglia. Fratelli, sorelle. See you, Hans, have fun. Sì, <laughs> Goodbye, Luke. Gutenberg <laughs> was attracted by all sorts of travelers, not only Czechs and Germans, but even a few unforgettable Italians. Ma che diavolo, come cazzo mi permette? Ah, there you are. Where's your friend? How was your Italian job? Piss off. Aw, uh, oh, Christo's all butt heard about something. You look like you sleep anyway, another mid game, woohoo. Italian court. The centerpiece of Kutenberg's work. That's for you, Christo. Where all the miners' effort ended. A Thanks for the clicks. The King Free engagement for the win. Silver have been stored. Yeah, Nuno, this is some of the best game marketing I've seen in a long time. This, this is great because they're blending in. And I wonder if they work with the tours at board on this. By the way, anyone who thinks Kingdom Come Deliverance was a mid game. <laughs> someone about the bathhouse. I haven't seen any. Have you? Luke, we're not going to a bathhouse, right? 
not 1403 anymore. That's how we roll, Hector. Oh, yeah. Everybody likes good motorboating. We're in motor city. Of course, we're going to a bathhouse. And I'm not leaving until we find one. Oh, Jesus. I feel like I'm with my kid nephew who's having a strop because he can't have his 14th ice cream. Well, this nephew was promised roller coasters and sweets, and all I've had is old buildings and sparkling water. Luke, please. Let's just go and get some food somewhere, all right? I feel quite hungry. Kitty cat! Scratch, 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 scratch! Gotta scratch all the kitty kits. Screw the bathhouse. Good luck, buddy. No. No, 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 no. Uh-oh. Front row. Front row. <laughs> Yeah, Mike, a lot of people couldn't handle the lack of a crossbow uh, crosshair. No. I think we should Crosshair. Going, yeah. Not a crossbow crosshair. This game has Come crossbows. Come on, mate, let's go and find that bathhouse, but yeah? But yes, crosshairs. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> that, see? They're even, pr they're, they're promoting the fact that this upcoming game has crossbows. <laughs> I like how they're turning the second one, like they're making the second one like it's gonna be like a buddy cop thing. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 That's, that's, um, I follow him on Facebook, on Facebook. That's the actor from, um, from, um, God damn it. He's just got to keep on provoking me. Oh, I'm sorry, old man. Destiny is all, um, city trip in the first place, so you can excuse me, kiss my ass, and leave me alone. Adrian. Fuck, I can't remember his name now. That's cool that he's in this. I bet he'll do some um, promo soon. Uh, this I guy, hang on. To to my him, him. Uh, why am I blanking on the name of the show? With Uthrid, son of Uthrid, The Last Kingdom. He was in the first, like, five seasons as, like, the king's bodyguard, right? Um, he was, he, he's a, he's kind of a, Smaller actor from the UK, but he does a ton of like medieval stuff. He does photography and stuff on on Facebook. I've been following him for years because of the Last Kingdom stuff. So that's cool that he's going to be in this. And apparently we're going to get more episodes like this. So this is really cool. This is a really awesome marketing campaign for Kingdom Come Deliverance too. Uh, Devon in YouTube says, Ren, you're the reason I picked up Kingdom Come Deliverance. Haven't stopped playing it for like a month. I'm 130 hours in. Your joy was infectious. Also watching you struggle with archery was next level. That game is legit. Like, the first game is probably the only game I've ever played since maybe the original EverQuest where you are, uh, you're nothing when you start. Like, you're just a blacksmith's son. And so, like, you suck at the sword, you suck at the bow, you gotta train, and you have to spend hours of real time, like, training with the sword guy, shooting at the archery thing, and that stupid bow waver that you can get better at because as you get better at archery the bow waver gets less and then using the appropriate leveled bows helps your bow aim gets better but i still pray i pray i'm like please give me a crosshair in kingdom come deliverance too please give me a crosshair and so many people were in my live stream chat like just put a piece of tape in the middle of your screen just <laughs> like no I'll struggle bust my way through. The first game is really good. Um, it's a huge game, though. Like, yeah, if, if you've got the time to play it before the second one comes out, I would highly recommend. Uh, but that was, a, that was a cool little uh, video. This will get clipped out for YouTube later, guys, as its own video. So we're going to continue on the stream with more uh, Dragon Age Veilguard. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Daily streams, YouTube, Twitch and TikTok these days. We're streaming live in three places every day at 8 or 9 a.m. Central Time. Play a lot of games. There's about 7,000 videos on the channel. This is going to be our one of our February games um, between this and Avowed by Obsidian. Uh, but we got a lot of games to get through before we get to that point, so make sure to follow along. 
and you'll catch all sorts of entertainment. Awesome, guys. That was cool.